And if we see what just showed up today, small rig, big dream. Let's crack this bad boy open. Already, this is more than I expected, to be honest. Got a couple lens gears, one USB-C to USB-C. All right, in the main compartment here, we have a bunch of mounting accessories. So we have a 15 millimeter rod, RE locking pin mount. We have a 15 millimeter rod attachment. Another mounting thing that I'll be honest, I have zero clue what this attaches to. NATO rail to quarter 20. This looks like a Sony NPF uh, battery attachment for I'm guessing the motors as a way to power them. We have two identical motors. I'm guessing they have a single motor kit. This is the two motor kit. A little beefy, but definitely feels premium. We have the follow focus wheel itself. And looks like we have a hand trigger attachment here. So for the sake of this setup, I'm going to grab my Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro which is currently on the DJI RS3 Pro gimbal. And we can see that we have the follow focus kit that the gimbal normally comes with. Now I'm going to disconnect it. We're not really gonna interface with the gimbal because in this scenario, we're going to have someone who is remotely pulling focus. Now I'm actually going to take off this, <laughs> actually made by Small Rig, extremely unique, Small Rig 15 millimeter to 12 millimeter adapter. If you completely unscrew this, it fully opens up, which means if you had, let's say a map box at the front of your rails here, you don't have to take off all the accessories to attach this. All right, you know what? I am running into an issue where the plate of my camera isn't allowing me to install the motor. So good thing it comes with all these different accessory mounts. It's attached by three different screws. So that's definitely not going anywhere. All right, so now we'll grab our rod again, attach that nice and tight there. And now we have a ton of clearance. All right, so you can see we have one motor on the aperture and one on the focus in the front. But now we need to power these motors and you have a couple different ways of doing that. One of which you can use the USB-C connector, but they also have this genius little smart connector on the sides of the motor here. And this just kind of clips on right there. And so now with no cables, you can attach any Sony MPF battery. So you could use super giant one like this. Let me grab a smaller one though, so it's not totally overkill. Connect that up. So now that we have this first one hooked up with the battery, the second one, you can either do the same or you can take the USB-C to USB-C, plug it into something like power bank. Turn that guy on. And if I press and hold this, you can see the OLED panel lights up and you're good to go. And again, if this was a battery bank that you could mount somewhere, you could do that. But for the sake of this setup, I actually really like the mounting battery plates, kind of keeps it with no cables. And now you can see from the front, we have two motors completely mounted and power. And this may look pretty crazy, but remember, this is not really the setup for a one man band operation. This kit is going to allow indie professionals to have full control over their lenses with a remote operator. Now there's a bunch of ways that you can use these handles. There's a mounting point on the inside of here that you could mount it to the side of a camera or a setup. There's another quarter 20 actually on both sides. So whether you want it as a left hand handle or a right hand handle, you can have either one, which is really versatile. You have a focus wheel on the front of this handle as well. You know, the brain here communicates with the focus motors. Both of them have USB type C connections. So you can plug it into a battery bank or into a wall outlet and then USB uh, to get infinite power. But this actually has a built-in battery that you can charge up and use as a standalone device. Or if you wanna power this through a battery, you can open up the bottom and it fits a Canon LPE6 battery. So I'm going to pull down this lever right here and I can actually easily take off the brains of this uh, handle here. And you can see the little smart connectors on the bottom and then grab my focus wheel here. And there's actually this little cover that just simply pulls off to reveal another smart connector. And you can see that these just line up here. And so I'm just going to 
snap that into place. You can feel nice click. And now you have a really nice two-handed operation focus wheel. Because we have both the handle and this connected, you can see that there's two numbers right here, one and two, and this allows us to control both motors at once. If I disconnected this bottom handle and the top focus wheel, I would just get one at a time. So obviously the front one here is focus and the back one is gonna be aperture. And you'll notice here that when I move this one, we're gonna change the focus. And when I use this front focus, it's going to very slowly, smoothly change the aperture. This front focus thing here is very stiff. Now obviously you can use them both in tandem and this is where the expert first ACs really come into play because you wanna be able to pull focus as you change your aperture. To do a simple test here, I have this rigged up again. Again, I love the fact that there's no extra cables anywhere with these and I can have them totally wireless. And the reason I got a wireless transmitter and these lovely little Hollyland microphones is because my wife is gonna be upstairs with this rig and we basically just create a really simple sequence of her walking and we turned on and off certain lights and I'm having her stop at certain places to focus on so I can practice smooth transitioning from various lighting conditions as well as pulling focus. Make sure you practice your craft. If first AC is your thing, do stuff like this more often. And this kit really makes it both budget friendly and super easy uh, to set up and use. My goal here is to keep in focus while she runs around while also changing the aperture. I am ready. Let's do this. I wanna close my aperture slightly. Really, it just comes down to muscle memory. That's great. Knowing which direction each focus wheel pulls. Go down to the book. Open aperture a bit. Hold on the book for just a moment. And up. And widen aperture a bit. Take my focus and start going towards the light. Slowly close down my aperture. Get my focus close. That was not very smooth, closing down. And then back up. And let's get the room, hold there for a second. And focus, boom. All right, cut. My wife, everybody. DP of the year. Huge thanks to Small Rig for hooking me up early with their new wireless follow focus kit. If you guys wanna learn more or pick one up for yourself, check it out down in the link in the description. It truly has never been a better time to be in the indie filmmaking business. Well done, Small Rig. See you guys in the next video.